Well, yeah, it was it was a, a very big win. Um, we were a little shorthanded in terms of personnel <clears throat> due to some injuries and suspensions. And, um, you know, we had some guys really step up and, and uh, slot into some positions that were they're not used to, maybe not comfortable with necessarily. And, uh, you know, George Mason put us under a lot of pressure. They're a good team, very good at attacking complement of players. And um, I thought we did a terrific job of, of – uh, limiting their chances for the most part to shots from distance and did a great job of blocking shots and, and uh, cutting out crosses as a group and um, you know got got a big play towards the end of the game from Chris Alveston getting in behind the defense and and winning a penalty kick and, and then uh, you know Nick Abrigo um, stepped up and slotted at home so anytime we can take three points uh, in the league we're, we're thrilled but um, you know to be a little bit shorthanded on the night and, and to play a good team like that um, we're we're very happy with the result but yeah I mean I think it, it certainly showed on Saturday um, you know will <clears throat> will uh, is a terrific leader he's a great competitor um, he's not your prototypical center back so he sometimes gets overlooked in terms of recognition because he's not you know six two and dominant in the air or anything like that but uh <clears throat> he was he was terrific on saturday night he timed his tackles extremely well his yeah. ability to organize our defense was tremendous um you know we were without two guys who had been starting regularly in the back for us uh, andy hinnett and michael Teeman for that match and then we lost andrew mahan about uh, halfway through the match and had to put a a true freshman in at the back who hasn't played in the back for us, um, which made Will's role that much more difficult. But, um, you know, he really is like a coach on the field. He did a terrific job of organizing. And then his individual game, as I mentioned, was was great as well. He did a good job winning head balls. And, and like I said, the timing of his tackles, his reading of the game, his ability to cut out service was was uh, tremendous. So, um, yeah, he was a huge, huge part of, uh, of our win on Saturday night. Well, I mean, it's you know, it's probably our our uh, biggest rival in the league, and that goes back a long time. Obviously, they're close by, just down the road in Norfolk, and and uh, you know, for the last ten years or so, Old Dominion has been um, arguably the top team in the league. Um, they're consistently in the NCAA tournament, and uh, you know, we have a lot of respect for them. I think this year they um, are are arguably the best team in the league on paper. Um, their early season results would uh, suggest that that's that's the case and um, you know they got some some very good attacking players that um, you know a year ago were probably a little inexperienced and young and now those guys are really coming to the fore and, and having great seasons and and we know it'll be a big challenge but uh, but we like the challenge I mean Old Dominion is a team that will try to play soccer and and get the ball down and play and you know that's what we prefer to do as well so we think it'll be a good game and hopefully if we can if we can uh, defend the way that we have in the last uh, six games or so, um, you know, it'll be a good match and, you know, we'll try to try to sneak a win.